Welcome back to Cooking with Jan. Today, as you can see, we're improvising the video because my camera woman is at work. Um, I'm alone here in the kitchen today. I was sort of fiddling with how I could get the right camera angle and I think I've found the right one. Today we're doing spaghetti carbonara and I'm gonna show you my version of the Italian classic and I also have a confession to make. I use cream. <laughs> I put cream in the dish to ensure that the um, carbonara is creamy enough and, and tasty enough. Um, the Italians would say it's a sin. So without further ado, let me show you my interpretation of an Italian classic spaghetti carbonara, which is very easy to do, very quick to do, and it'll be delicious regardless of which method you use. Um, I hope you can see this. Uh, uh, like I said, I struggled with the camera position and also with the lighting, but I think we've worked it out. This is 200 grams of spaghettini. I would go with spaghettini for this dish. This is 200 grams and this is also for two servings. Then we have, continuing to be careful, I have three eggs and I'm going to separate the egg white from the yolk. See, the egg almost wanted to slip out there. Then I have my ham. This is cut up ham already for me. Uh, this is only 75 grams. Now the recipe um, that is my own calls for as much as 150, but I found that using less bacon, less cut up ham is better. It just gives it more of an elegant touch and the other flavors come forward. The Parmesan and also the eggs. I have about 70 grams uh, shredded Parmesan here, which I'm probably going to use. Um, the recipe calls for 50, but I do a little bit more. Also, if I've got a little bit remaining, I'm gonna kind of just eyeball it. But then um, if I have some remaining, I just put the Parmesan on top. 100 milliliters of cream. And then we have just uh, some salt that we put in with our pasta when we cook our pasta, and you'll see that just in a moment. The first thing we're going to do is actually separate the egg whites from the yolk. So all you do is when you crack the egg, the pros, they use the shells to separate the two ingredients, but I have to use my hand. So I let the yolk just stay in my hand. As so the egg white drops into the bowl. I take the yolk and I let all of the egg white just drip down. Here are my three egg yolks, which I think you can see. There we are. They go here. And then you take your whisk, break the yolks, and put in your Parmesan. Actually, I'm gonna put almost all of the Parmesan in and get this blob. And then uh, the Italians are probably already panicking, but don't panic because here comes my secret recipe to make it smooth, my cream. This is, by the way, the sauce, the egg sauce that we are making. You just whisk it in like that. The oil. Often in cooking, you think that you're in the midst of a catastrophe, but if with patience and perseverance, you work it out. And then we have our sauce, well mixed up. Now, very important, you have to add salt and pepper to your cream sauce. So I'm just not gonna use kosher salt, I'm just gonna use some sea salt, cracked sea salt. Always being careful with salt. Pepper, also. Oh, that's about six or seven revolutions. Good dollop of pepper. Make sure it's in there. I also, and, and this may be another sin, but um, as I say, because I'm just American born, I wouldn't know any better. I just put in a pinch or two of sugar to take some of the bite out made from the Parmesan, which is salty. And I sometimes, like now, put in just a dash of cayenne pepper to just kind of kick it up a bit. I think you could also use smoked paprika if you wanted to. 
As you can see, I put that in there. Okay, the next step is to uh, put together the carbonado, which as I say, is very easy. The first thing we're gonna do is fill this pot a little bit more than halfway with water. Yeah, it's about 70% or whatever. Just make sure you don't overfill it so it doesn't boil over when it boils. And we're going to fire that up. Okay. Now, in the meantime, you can go, already go ahead and prepare your bacon, your chopped ham. I have actually 100 grams in here. I decided to add 30 grams more. And because uh, this is Italian cooking, I also am gonna put in just a little bit of garlic. This is about a small clove of garlic that I've chopped up. Um, again, the Italian purists would be say, would say, how can you do this? But this is Italian cooking and I think it's legitimate, so it's gonna go in there. I like the taste, but don't add too much garlic. You don't wanna overpower this dish. So our pan is hot enough, uh, I can tell. Put a little bit of olive oil in there, just about a, a tablespoon. And we're hot, I can tell already, because my olive oil is, yes, smoking just a little bit. So we can go in. I go in first with the ham. Hear the sizzle, you're good. You know that you're good. You don't want to burn it though, so you want to now reduce the heat, put it on mid-heat, after your pan has gotten hot enough. And we're just going to cook it I mean, you can actually make it as crispy as you like. I believe the uh, the purists would say that your ham has to be very crispy. I'm not gonna make it that crispy. After I have put in my ham, I'm gonna put in my garlic. Yeah, about a half a clove it would be. Just to give it a little bit of a garlic taste, garlic note. Actually, I think I'm almost there. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Just let it simmer for a little bit, as you can see. It has to be cooked, but in terms of crispiness, you can decide that for yourself. And, and because my pot is smaller, I don't have a big pot this time. Obviously the pros, they just put in the pasta like this, but I just break it so it fits. That's what I do. So see, this is finished now. I'm done with this now, you can, if you can see that. Yes, you can. I'm not gonna go any farther with that. Take it off the heat and just leave it to the side because that's going to be combined with the pasta and the egg sauce. This now, my pasta goes for five minutes. Okay, our pasta has been cooking for five minutes and we're gonna remove it now. I would normally do this over the sink, but because of the camera restrictions, we're doing it like this. So I take my pasta with a catch like this, put it there. It doesn't matter if you spill, it doesn't matter. The uh, trick is, or the idea is rather, that you want to use the pasta water because it has starch in it for your dish. So don't throw the pasta water away. Of course you can strain it, but whatever you do, just keep some pasta water with you. Here, you can take your pasta and you combine it with your bacon. That's what you do first. Make it nice and smooth. You can even add, as I will, some pasta water, which really makes it nice and creamy. Actually, the, that's what the Italians would say. They say, you don't have to use cream because you use the pasta water. I'm just gonna put in some butter just, uh, for the hang of it. So now we combine this together. I just see there's just a little piece of butter like that. You can see that, there we go. And now here comes the important step, your egg mixture. Now you have to continually, when you add your egg mixture, continually, continually stir, because you don't want scrambled eggs. So you put it in there and very, as you can see what I'm doing here, well, you don't have to panic, but you have to make sure that you have to keep stirring it because you want to make sure that you, get all of the clumps away. Right. Now, what we're gonna do next is tr we're going to taste it to see if we need any more salt or pepper. I don't think so. Mmm. Mmm, 
that's good. So we are finished. As you can see, my spaghetti carbonara. Maybe the Italians would say it's a little bit runny. That's fine with me. I have that creaminess, as long as I don't have scrambled eggs. We're just going to add a little bit of Parmesan that I have grated fine, but let's just add a little bit here to our pasta. Oh, that looks wonderful. Look at that. Thank you for bearing with me while I try to get the right lighting, the right camera angles, also the right video. And if you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my channel with others who might uh, want to follow my channel and be interested in what I make. This is going to be delicious, <laughs> I have to say, but of course I'm biased. And subscribe. Uh, like I said, the channel is growing and I want to make sure that I try to as frequently as possible provide content because all of you um, have just been wonderful and so loyal to me. So thank you very much. And as Jacques Pepin says, happy cooking. Then I have my, and this is the sin, sorry all, all of Italy, please forgive me, uh, I'm American born, but I love As I said, the, 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 you have to force it. <laughs> Separate the parmesan which has built up inside of the whisk. You can use your fingers, no problem. Shh, don't tell Anke. So 30 grams more, 100 grams chopped ham.